What's going on guys, Matt here from Become Elite. And if you've been following me for a while, you know that one of my favorite cardio routines to prepare for preseason is the John Terry cardio workout. I found this workout on John Terry's Instagram page and I dubbed it the John Terry cardio workout and I've been using it for the last two years and it's an absolute killer. However, I've always been really curious to know what the actual differences are between running on a treadmill and running outside on a field, a track or on the ground. So in this video, I really want to sit down and dig into the scientific studies so I can make my workouts as effective as possible and best tailor my workouts for my professional career. First things first, obviously running outside or doing something on the field is gonna be more game realistic than running on a treadmill. You play this game outside, cutting, turning, changing direction, shuffling, backpedaling, and you're not on a moving belt running forward in a straight line. However, if running on a treadmill can closely replicate what it's like to run outside, then it can be a great tool for footballers to use when it's 120 degrees outside in the middle of the summer, or it's snowing outside and you physically cannot run without endangering your body or if you really wanna track the miles, the sets, the reps, the rest time, the speed that you're going and control that so you can progressively overload the workout and make it harder and harder. Yes, obviously it's better to go outside, but just what are the differences between the two? Well, after a little bit of digging online, I found this awesome systematic review published in Sports Medicine in which scientists from Australia, the Netherlands, United States looked at just this. They looked at the differences between running on a treadmill and running outside. These scientists gathered data by looking at 34 different scientific studies, and they used three key different measures of comparison. Number one was physiological, AKA how hard the runner's bodies worked while completing the workouts. And this was measured through blood lactate levels, their heart rates, and their VO2 max. Number two was perceptual, AKA how hard the workout felt to the runners. And number three was performance, AKA how the runners actually performed in their time trials. And strangely enough, they found very, very mixed results. They found when the runners ran at a faster speed that they had a higher heart rate and they exhibited higher levels of perceived exertion on the treadmill versus at the same exact speed outside. And to make things even weirder, when the runners ran at a slower pace, the exact opposite happened. They had lower heart rates and lower levels of perceived exertion on the treadmill versus outside running. As far as performance measures like the VO2 max or their top sprinting speed, it was very similar outside and inside. And again, interestingly enough, runners actually displayed more endurance outside running than inside. And finally, when looking at the difference between the runner's biomechanics when running outside versus running on a treadmill, yes, there were some slight and subtle differences between the knee angle and the peak ground force and a little bit of the running form, but the overall pattern is the movements are close enough that you don't have to worry about the differences. So let's take a step back. What does this all mean? It sounds like some very mixed results. What is the takeaway from this meta-analysis? Well, the takeaway is that running is running. Whether you run outside on a paved road, on a track, on a field, or on a treadmill, yes, there are subtle and slight differences between each workout style, but you're going to get in a very similar workout. Now, if you can, I'd really recommend going outside and going to a field where you can work on more game realistic cutting, turning, shuffling, backpedaling movements. You can add in a ball to do some more conditioning with the ball to better replicate what you have to do in a real match. But in terms of the actual workout itself, you can get in effective fitness sessions with both methods. So to be honest, after researching all this, uh, these results completely surprised me and at the same exact time also confirmed everything that I found through my own experiences and through my own workouts. I have heard for years that running on a treadmill doesn't replicate what it's like to run outside. I've heard that it's easier to run inside because the moving treadmill belt does some of the work for you and helps with leg turnover. And I've also heard that your biomechanics are completely different when running on a treadmill so that these workouts on the treadmill would not translate to your workouts on the pitch. But at the same time, it really didn't surprise me because I would do 15 sets of the John Terry cardio workout on a treadmill, or I would go outside and do 15 full field sprints, and I would feel just as fatigued and just as tired and felt like just the same feeling after the workout with both methods. And for majority of my off season, I prepared for my upcoming preseason with my professional teams using majority of workouts on the treadmill. And I've come in being one of the top two or three fittest guys on the team when we do outside running on the field. So at the end of the day, worry less about the little subtle differences between running on a treadmill or running outside and focus more on just putting in the work and pushing yourself. So that's it for the video. I hope you guys liked it. If you did, hit the thumbs up button. Comment below which kind of method you prefer. Do you like going on the treadmill? Do you like going outside? Do you like mixing the two? And be sure to subscribe for more videos just like this one. I'll see you guys in the next video. 
All right, guys. Peace. Peace.